Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here with HD Alex Films, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 7 Beta 1 for free on your iPod Touch 5th Gen, iPhone 5, iPhone 4, all the iPhones that are supported, iPhone 4S, iPhone, it's all the devices supported are iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPod Touch 5th Generation, Apple TV, all those kind of devices. So anyways, what you're going to need to do first, head over to the website, I'm going to have this in the description, it's I, iModZone, it's abbreviated to imzdl.com slash ios.php, I'm going to have this in the description, don't worry. Uh, basically what you need to do is select the f uh, name of your device, so in this case I'm going to select iPod Touch 5th Gen iOS 7 Beta 1, and you can either select a direct or torrent, I prefer torrent, that's faster, but direct is uh, slower, it takes about an hour, torrent takes about half an hour depending on your connection speed. So once you have that downloaded, what you're going to need to do is of course restore your device. So basically the way you're going to do that is you have to head over here to back it up, so back up, and then you got to click on restore iPod. And as you see my device or my iPod, uh, 6.1.3, it's uh, um, 6.1.2 but it can't update to 6.1.3 so that just shows you guys that the newest version is only 6.1.3 so you got to go restore iPod, you got to click restore and update. Uh, items, yes, continue. What you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to go iOS 6.3. It shows you what there is. Click on next. Click on agree. What you're going to need to do is you're going to download the software update. I'm going to pause this video and be back for more, more uh, description and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and go ahead. Alright, so once you finish restoring it, uh, what you're going to be at the screen where basically you can select, select, or set up as new iPod or iPhone. What you need to do is select, this see right here, you're on your iPod touch screen. It's going to say, uh, or a slide to unlock in many different languages. What you need to do now is once you're at the screen, you need to go, uh, option, hold option thing. And once you go option, and you're going to need to go to check for update. You're going to go to desktop. And you gotta select the firmware that's gonna be on your desktop. So right here, iPod 5 7.0. Click on open. It's gonna click update. It's going to extract the software. And just wait for finished extracting the software. If you get an error, it doesn't work. If you don't get an error, it does work. So just wait for this to finish up. I'm not fast forwarding it. This is real time speed. So. Okay, your device did. Sh uh, my device did show the uh, recovery logo for about a second, and that will happen. And right now, it's showing the Apple logo with a loading screen, and then the Apple logo with a bar underneath. So I'm guessing it did work, and it does work. So it's waiting for iPod to now go through the steps and processes of doing this. I'm not uh, basically. I'm just gonna not fast forward it because I do not want you guys to miss this out but uh, why don't we go ahead and wait for this to go through process and I'll be right back when this is done verifying the iPod software so basically I am didn't pause it but I'm going so verify the iPod software make sure it's the right version so just wait for this to go through and process through this should take some time depending and I'm guessing it did work because the bar that looks different on the iPod touch does look different than the old iOS is so I'm gonna pause the video and be back okay once this is done updating iPod software it's gonna go through and it is working so it is updating your software and as you see if you look both on the computer and both on the iPod itself it is um, showing a bar that shows your statistics and basically tells you how far you are in the upgrade. So this is working to iOS 7. After this is done, you should have iOS 7 on your iPod or iPhone. Hopefully this works. iOS 7 is no longer compatible on the iPod Touch 4th generation, sadly. So the iPod Touch 4th generation does discontinue its software at 6.1.3. It does work on the iPhone 4. And the reason is it works on the iPhone 4 is because iPhone 4s need or iPhones need the update. Because uh, some of them won't work. So just wait for this to finish, go through. And if you notice, this is going through pretty fast. And you see on the computer, it will show a little bit more 
ahead than on your device. So that way your device has to catch up and it'll start to slow down, your device will start to speed up. iOS 7 is proven to work very, very well in the future and hopefully it will be released soon uh, to the public. But this is a hack or a way, not a hack, but a way to get, get past the UDID um, to, to get iOS 7 on your device. So this does work, it's verifying the updated the iPod software. And make sure, this is very important, make sure you select iOS 7 for your device. If you do not select it for your device, it could potentially damage your device and not be able to restore it. It will break your iPhone or iPod and not be able to restore it. That did happen with my other, older, that did happen with my old, old iPod, my iPod second generation. And I tried to update it to 4.2.1 before 4.2.1 was released. And sadly, guess what? Uh, I tried to update it to iOS 4. Sadly, guess what? Oh, it bricked. Ooh, I that they actually ended up selling it on eBay. Bricked. I got 30 bucks out of it. Might as well. So yeah. And then updating iPod firmware. And then as you see on your iPod, it should be about who about more than three fourths complete. Maybe missing about millimeter off the bar. So just wait for this to be finished up. Okay, as you see, your iPod has been restored and is connected. Just click OK. Go back to your iPod. Oh, this is my old iPod. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, go wait for your iPod to be shown up. I'm just gonna get over here. Um, it's gonna your iPod should be restarting. And any minute now. So it's is restoring. It is showing uh, that progress bar again that iOS 7 people show. And as you see, if you look at it, the I Apple logo on iOS 7 no longer has the little shiny effect on it, the gloss effect. This is just the standard white Apple logo. So that does prove that you have been updated to iOS 7. iOS 7, this Apple logo is going to turn black and the background is going to turn white. That means it did work. As you see, the iPod Touch is now booting up. It says, hello, slide to set up. And there is basically no slide to unlock bar. I'm going to enter my password for my Wi-Fi, pause the video, and be back once this is done. So I entered my password. I'm going to click on Disable Location Services. Click on OK. Set up as new iPod Touch. Sign in with Apple ID. I'm going to sign in, put in my password. Click on Return. It's going to enter my password on my iDevice. And I'm going to click on Agree at the bottom right hand corner. Click Agree again. It's going to set up your Apple ID. This, this may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID, so be patient. Do not go ahead and try to do it yourself. It will not work out. So just wait for this. Click on Use iCloud. Use Find My iPod Touch. Click Enable. Okay, click on Next for your iMessage. This is when it sets up iMessage. Updating iCloud. As you see right here, all the iMessage added to my iPod. If I go to my iPod right here, I see iOS 7, it says right there. So that is updated to iOS 7, and then it does work. I'm going to click Use Siri, automatically send. It's going to send me, welcome to iPod. I open it up, you get that cool effect. Whoa, that looks weird and new and weird. <laughs> I'm going to go, there's a new effect on literally every single thing. I'm going to do a review video about it. As you see right here, everything, you can even change the text size. Now that is amazing to show you the text size and everything. That's just amazing. That's awesome. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. That is iOS 7 right there. It did work. Bye guys. Talk to you later in the future.